It's been a 37 year journey for Layton mother. In August of 1982, Elaine Runyon's three year old daughter disappeared. Rachel Runyon was found three weeks later murdered. Her killer has never been found. For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. It's a pain only a parent who loses a child fully understands. But somehow, Elaine Runyon has found a way to live life and raise a family on her own. But she's also vowed to make it safe for other children. I was in a great deal of pain, and I could hardly breathe. August 26, 1982, Rachel Runyon's body was found near Morgan. Nearly three weeks earlier, she was kidnapped at a school playground while her siblings watched. That moment still haunts her mother. Justin said, you know, Rachel's in a car. What car? A blue car. Whose car? He said, a black man's. And I said, he'll kill her. He'll kill her. We had no Amber Alert. We had no help like that. We were using flyers. Pictures of Rachel were distributed, and so was a composite of the suspect, an African-American man driving in a blue car. A person of interest was questioned. But there wasn't enough evidence. That person that I believe you're referring to continues to be looked at. I have never gone public with that name. But the police chief says there are others considered persons of interest. Police do have DNA evidence, and the case is now in the hands of the Attorney General's cold case unit. As they would like to give it the most recent and best testing that DNA has to offer out there. From darkness to light, that's how Elaine Runyon's life has been. She runs a successful business and as a single parent raised her children. In the end, I have to give it to God because, you know, that way I can go on. Nowadays, instead of passing out flyers, there's the Amber Alert, which issues warnings to the public once a child is abducted. The idea was hatched from states like Utah, where it was known as the Rachel Alert. Now we've saved countrywide over 900 children. So it works, and I'm really proud of the legacy of the alert. But she's also championed legislation to link national and state databases of missing or kidnapped children, as well as increasing penalties for those convicted of the crime. I think Rachel would be proud of you. Very proud. Yeah, I love and miss her very much. A spokesman for the Attorney General's office says that they took on the Runyon case well before a new law went into effect. Now, that new law allows the Attorney General to review a case if families of victims ask and they get permission from the police department. For more information on that, as well as a reward being offered in the Runyon case, visit our website, abc4.com. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.